Welcome to Vesper, Vespers, a service of evening prayer. We light our candles together for this time of prayer. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with this word, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, which is All Saints Sunday, is from Isaiah 25. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. I chose this text to use because I had chosen it for both of my parents' funerals. My dad loved to cook, and he would eat the feasts that he prepared, which were quite unusual combinations of foods, but I think that is what he was aiming for. My mom is the one who took me to church every day when I was growing up and let this deacon learn the good news of God's grace, which is not limited to, but definitely includes, swallowing death forever. I have told my family I would like it read at my funeral because I really love the imagery and it reminds me of my parents. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your people together in one communion and the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant us grace to follow your blessed saints in lives of faith and commitment and to know the inexpressible joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy for public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance at the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give, us to, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks for coming.